my overwhelming impulse was to blame the person who put my temporary crown in, but it was entirely my fault. I was an idiot because I've had a temporary crown before that came out. I had a regular crown that came out because I was chewing gum. I should have known better. It was entirely my fault that my temporary crown came out, but my God, when I drink water, it's like, ah, oh, it just kills me. It's so painful, but it's entirely my fault, but I just so wanted to blame it on someone else. Do you think I wanted to take responsibility that I had chosen badly? The pink starts in the matrix of <laughs> contributing factors. Yeah, that's right. And uh, in the long thread that he made sort of in defense against some of the pushback he got from that interview, he does walk back that um, stuff a, a bit, which is part of what I was thinking of, but not nearly enough. But uh, Talking about Daryl Cooper there. Okay, I know you are on the edge of your seat. You've got your whole family gathered around. When whatever equivalent of the church committee investigates the insanity that we are living through these days, I don't find it that insane. It's just people with a certain hero system. As we've had, for example, more women moving into academia, right? The values of women have taken precedence over what have heretofore been less challenged values of men about uh, more open and robust uh, discourse, which is itself a hopeful thought. They will surely bring to light a large complex of official or semi-official information threat programs run by U.S. intelligence agencies whose goal is ostensibly to protect America from foreign propaganda aimed at causing exactly the kind of social disintegration that the machine and its servants have themselves inflicted at home. Now, that's an interesting point. But given America's varied composition of different groups, different races, different religions, even if we had none of this, 